everybody, and guess what day it is? I'll give you three seconds to figure it out for yourself, otherwise I'll help you. Fun Friday! Yay! Yay! Um, before this blacks out on me, the f I'm gonna tell you guys a joke first. Say hi, Pedro! Hello! Alright, you guys ready for this? It's actually pretty funny, this one. It's not too bad. Okay, are you ready? What do you call a man with a car on his head? Jack. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> yep, that one actually made me laugh. All right, you guys. I realized in my funny stories, oh, yes, and also uh, the John Pine song of the day is going to be uh, mm, Grandpa was a carpenter. All right, you guys ready for your great stories? This one, I realized, I told you guys a bunch of my Malawi memories, but I didn't tell you why God told me to go, like, when he told me to go there. Um, so I'm going to tell you that, and then quick story of taking the airplane and going to the airport and that. So, um, so we, um, I was going to a church, this was when I moved back to San Diego the first time, and I was going to a church. Um, and one of, we found out that they had a soccer team of guys from the church that had gone to Malawi, Africa, and they showed videos of what they had done there. And I was just like, wow, like, um, just my heart was like, wow, that's awesome. They were witnessing and, um, using their, um, worship band to tour in Africa and just, um, it just kind of got me in my heart. And then, um. I was telling my mom about them on the phone, and my mom was still living in New Hampshire, and she said, Honey, don't you know that our church here in New Hampshire, First Baptist, has been working with Malawi for many years? And I was like, What? And that's just when I felt like God was stirring something. Um, but with me, if I feel like God is telling me something that big, I kind of like three confirmations. And then I was at Isaac and Jen's house. Um, uh, they were at a graduation party and I was hanging out with her family and um, her mom or Jen was telling a story about um, one of the kids there in Malawi and that AIDS is such a huge thing there. Um, and that there was um, a kid, there was a baby they were stoning um, because that kid had AIDS or they thought he did and this little kid came and picked up the kid and ran away with him and it was like boom and that's what I heard you're going to Malawi and I was like okay so um, but it was kind of cool because um, a good fr well a friend that I knew a little bit through our youth group um, she had been there I think I told you about Brandy um, so she had already been there for a year but she was also from the same youth group um, and Casey um, I had never met yet but it was crazy because we were both homeschooled in the same little area and we never crossed paths but Casey was 18 years old and so we get to the airport and you know, I have not been living at home with my mom, you know, so my mom, we're like, goodbye, I'm gonna miss you, big hugs, but, oh, poor Casey, she has three amazing sisters, younger sisters, and her mom and her dad, she's never left home before, and they were sobbing through the airport, and I was like, oh my gosh, I just, my heart was like sad for her, um, but, uh, then we had, um, so it was also her first flight, um, and I remember I was worried about having to be able to sleep on the plane, and Ken LeClaire, the one who was um, the dad of Brandy, had um, some Ambien, and I had took one and I remember I fell asleep I mean I was like wanting to talk to Casey like encourage her and, that, and I was out um which was good because I was never sleep on the plane and then I wake up and we're like almost in London and that was our connection and we had 12 hours to go in London so we like decided to go out of the airport and just do as much as we could in the time that we had but it started raining and oh my gosh anybody who has lived there or visited it is so expensive to do anything there um so we ran over 
money really quickly, but I was proud because um, I was actually able to go see Buckingham Palace and all of that. So I was like icing on the cake, um, you know, on my way to Moanaui. Uh, but it was, it's funny because I remember I had a cup of hot chocolate in my hand and Casey was getting ready to take a picture of me in front of Buckingham Palace. And I went to look at my time on my watch and I spilled hot chocolate all down the front of my shirt. So that was just kind of a funny story between the two of us. So, um, yes, so that was a fun experience getting to stay in London Airport. So then we got to Malawi. Um, yes, so I have a lot more Malawi memories, I just realized. So on my next two videos, I'm going to tell you guys the rest of the stories, but I was like, I didn't even tell you guys, um, you know. Oh, also, um, yes, when I got there, I don't know if I did tell you guys this or not, but the first two weeks we were working at an orphanage, um, and then, then we moved to the city and, um, and then did various different things there. But I'll tell you more about that when I'm telling you the funny things uh, from those memories. But yes, now you guys can start your weekends. Have a great weekend. Happy Fun Friday.